In Mozart and Haydn's time, that's the middle to late 18th century, it was very, very different. Music was almost entirely new music, as it was in the pop scene, say, in the 1960s. If you go along, you'd expect to hear music by living composers, and probably recent music by living composers too. Even though Bach had only died quite recently, 1750, his music had more or less disappeared. Handel lived on to 1759, and in England, at least, he still had some popularity and some reputation around his name. But for a lot of the rest of the world, Handel's music was already going out of fashion. And going out of fashion at that time meant that people just didn't play it anymore. After all, there were no recordings. An awful lot of this music wasn't actually published. So it might be surprising to hear that that cello suite, indeed all Bach cello suites, some of the most glorious music in the cello repertoire, wasn't published until 1824, that's more than a century after it was written. That's the kind of situation that prevailed at the time. The fact that it was published at all probably has something to do with him and his influence. How did Bach, so how did Van Swieten come across the music of Handel and Bach, which was clearly very important to him? He seems to have bumped into it somewhere when he started his work as an international diplomat. And he really took an interest, particularly in Bach and Handel. He seems to have fixed on them right at the start. He wasn't just interested, though, in the music of the past. He was also interested in the music of his own time. And um, he was quite an enthusiast for Bach's son, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. We'll be hearing a rather remarkable sonata by him at the end of this uh, first half of this concert. It's actually really an extraordinary piece. Very, very turbulent, and in its way quite modern, certainly for its age, rather early romantic. Very, very different from Bach's father's music, that beautifully poised, elegant music that we've just heard, so wonderfully balanced that seems to rise in a great arch. The thing about the CPE Bach's music is it often seems incredibly volatile, changeable. That also seems to have appealed to Gottfried van Swieten, and he took great care to introduce other composers to CPE Bach's music.